final of the uh, evening session. So, of course, we are waiting for you uh, at that time as well. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the longest event so far here in Kazan, the men's 1500 meter freestyle. Just imagine, <laughs> so start with the facts. This is 60 laps, 60 laps. So, <laughs> Uh, very, very huge challenge for all the swimmers swimming uh, 50 heats. Okay, so let's see the first heat and let's meet the swimmers one by one. Lane one, Alejandro Puebla, lane uh, two, Alexander Yegorov, uh, lane three, Damien Joly, lane uh, for Henry Christiansen, lane five, Florian Welbrock, uh, lane six, Lucas Mertens, and lane six, uh, Oliver Klemet. 60 left, so I think I have some time to <laughs> give you some information about these wonderful swimmers. So Alejandro Puebla, lane one, uh, uh, this year the Spanish Summer Open and Junior Championships. He was in a fantastic form, and uh, thanks to the strong final 50 meters, uh, Puebla clocked the 15, for 13, 5, 8, marking a personal best. And uh, at that result, he swam uh, a new championship record and the new national record so this uh, young swimmer is uh, a good hope for the Spanish swimmer nation in longer distances And uh, this uh, record breaking is, uh, uh, it, it was a fantastic uh, event because uh, the record was held by Mark Sanchez in 2016. So after five years, uh, the young Spanish could break this record. So lane two, Alexander Yegorov, uh, the Russian National Swimming Championships in April. Uh, he achieved the gold in uh, 900 and 1500 meters as well. The 1500 meters time was uh, 14, 57, 72, and uh, he also got uh, silver in 400 meters. Lane three, Damien Joly. He has uh, eight gold, nine silver, and four bronze medals from uh, French championships and uh, at the 2012 Olympic Games. Uh, he competed uh, this uh, distance in long course, of course, uh, 1500 meter, finishing the 14th place. Uh, so he couldn't get into the final. Lane four, Henry Christians and. One of the most famous Norwegian swimmer nowadays. No, no, uh, need no introduction. But let's say some uh, facts about the Norwegian. Two bronze medals in uh, 400 and 800 meters in uh, the Youth Olympic Games 2014. Uh, in this distance, uh, world champion short course world championships 2018. Uh, got a bronze medal in Hangzhou and a silver medalist in 400 meter and long course world championship silver medalist 800 meter freestyle and uh, in Glasgow he was the silver medalist and in Netanya the bronze medalist Florian Velbrock lane uh, 5 probably the biggest name here and and if we see the whole European uh, 
championships. Also, the German is the leader, and uh, he is the reigning champion in this event uh, in Glasgow with a fantastic uh, uh, result, with a fantastic time, and uh, he is also the. He, he also has a gold medal in long course in this uh, distance in uh, Glasgow, in Budapest. Uh, the Ukrainian Romanchuk was faster than him, and uh, he is also an Olympic champion in uh, 10 kilometer open water. And uh, in this event, this, this distance, uh, 1500 meter in Tokyo Olympic Games, Verbrock uh, grabbed the bronze medal. Lukas Mertens uh, representing also Germany. He was he is an Olymp uh, he was an Olympic member in Tokyo Games and uh, this April the German trials get a silver in uh, 100 meter freestyle and uh, a gold in 200 meter freestyle. So the German swimmer is also good at the shorter distances. Number se uh, lane seven uh, he at last, but not at least, but not last. Uh, uh, the compatriot Oliver Clement, last but not least, correction, and uh, a German pool and open water swimmer who finished second in the 10 kilometer race at the 2020 German National Open open water swimming championships so uh, he is also in a good way to get uh, a new uh, good career and a good uh, follower because uh, he is uh, just uh, with uh, 19 years of age so this is the first seven swimmers Let's see the world champion, the world and the European record. All the records are held by Gregorio Paltrinieri, the king. The world record is 14.08.06, and uh, it was uh, swam in Netanya, Israel. 2015 uh, and uh, this is also the European record and the championship record is also the same so that was a memorable swim and a memorable competition for Gregorio Paltrinieri so these are the main facts and we are at more than halfway And don't forget that we have the 15 meter, 1500 meter women's category. First time in history. Okay, let's see the 900 meter mark, uh, lane five. Florian Velbrock is the first, Jolie France second, and the third is Yegorov, lane two. The 1500 meter Final. Will be in a afternoon session of yesterday. The best eight swimmers will be there. Wellbrook is uh, absolutely fantastic how he swim, as we can see. So relaxing, long strokes. Uh, 
he just uh, sets up the pace and uh, so calm. And uh, lane three, Jolie is, uh, and Yegorov is coming up. The first step, the first goal is to get into the final. There must be the best uh, performance for now. It is, uh, we can say, just for the warm up. But uh, it's a very efficient and very balanced swim by Florian Welbrock, just uh, in a relaxing style, saving the energy. And uh, not a so long underwater work, just what is necessary in this uh, preliminary. Four hundred meters to go, and it's still Verbrook, Jolie, and uh, Christiansen. Henry Christiansen. Uh, I think it was Yegorov. Uh, so Henry Christiansen was uh, not so fast in the first uh, one kilometer. But uh, stroke by stroke, he is coming up, and now he is uh, taking uh, the lead against Yegorov, and he is the third one right now. In uh, Glasgow, the winning time was uh, 14, uh, 17, uh, 1, 4, swam by Padrinieri. And there, Christiansen uh, was the runner up, and just uh, one second worse time than uh, Padrinieri. Now, just two. 100 meters to go and still well broke. We can say that uh, uh, he is no match for the others. Nobody is uh, coming up to him. Maybe six or four, six body length clear by. Uh, Jolie, who is still the second, but uh, more than uh, almost five seconds disadvantage. 60 laps, ladies and gentlemen, such a long, long distance. Last 100 meter at this time. Yegorov is now the third one. He just uh, escapes from Christiansen. The bell is ringing, that means the last two laps Verbrook, Jolie, and uh, Yegorov. Christiansen also has the chance to get to the final. Last meters uh, for Verbrook. Let's see the time. And it's sub uh, 14 and a half. 14, 29, 59. 
Jolie the second, and Yegorov touched home third, then Christiansen. It was a nice win by Florian Weibrock. He didn't swim just as much as he needed. And uh, he is waiting for the final. Let's see the last swimmer, Puebla, arrived at the wall as well. So we have the official result. Webrov, Webrov, Jolie, Yegorov, Christians, and Mertens, Clement, Puebla, Martinez. This is the order of the first heat of the two and now we are waiting for the second heat with uh, eight swimmers eight competitors result of the first and now we are waiting for the list yes here we have as I mentioned, eight swimmers for the final. So let's see the competitors of the second heat uh, lane one, Hungarian. David Bethlehem, lane two, Jon Jötvent, Norway, lane three, Domenico Acerenza, Italy, lane four, the reigning champion Gregorio Paltrinieri, third and European record holder, lane five, Kirill Martinicev, uh, Russia, lane six, Sven Schwarz, representing Germany, lane seven, Carlos Garage Benito, Spain, and uh, lane eight, Vlad Stefan Stanchu. So let's meet the swimmers one by one. Some int uh, introducing some information about the swimmers. Let's start with eight, uh, the eight heat, uh, eight uh, swimmers, and uh, lane one, David Bethlehem, European Junior Championship in Rome in this distance long course he grabbed the silver medal one of the biggest international success uh, for the young swimmer david bethlehem mert kilavus from turkey was the winner and uh, david bethlehem only six tenths of a second's worst time got the silver medal Lane two, Jon Jötvent, uh, Norway. His uh, last result is the 18th place for the men's 800 meter freestyle. Uh, during the European Junior Championships in 2021. And uh, he also competes in a 100 meter freestyle 200. Uh, and uh, 400 free, uh, medley, 400 and uh, the relay as well. In uh, 400 meter freestyle, Jötved uh, clinched fourth. So that was the nice result. And uh, he was also in the European Championships in long course, uh, Budapest uh, this May. Lane three, Domenico Acerenza representing Italy, one of the Italians. Well, well experienced swimmer. Uh, he has a gold medal in European Championships team relay this uh, May and uh, also uh, team uh, 
medal in uh, Guangzhou 2019 World Championships. And uh, in the Mediterranean Games, two silvers from Tarragona, 400 meter and uh, 1500 meter freestyle. He is also an open water swimmer. He competed at the 2020 Olympics, uh, Olympic Games, Tokyo, the 1500 meter, uh, of course, uh, in the uh, pool. And uh, he participated also at the 2019 World Aquatic Championships, winning a medal, a silver medal, as I mentioned. Lane for the King, Gregorio Paltrinieri, fantastic swimmer, truly legend. Uh, and uh, he is uh, still in a very good form and he is uh, absolutely a specialist of the long distances, the long events. Reigning champion, world championships, long course, um, here in Kazan 2015 got a gold medal just like in Budapest and Guangzhou. World Championships in Doha 2014, short course championships, gold medal and uh, several European championship uh, gold medals in uh, long and in short course and in open water as well just like uh, we remember in may the five kilometer and the 10 kilometer open water he grabbed the gold medal and uh, lane five next to him kirill martinitsev european junior championships the reigning champion in junior category Kazan, uh, not raining, sorry, uh, in Kazan uh, two years ago in this uh, distance, uh, 1500 meters, he claimed gold, so uh, this pool is uh, with good memories for uh, Kirill Martinichev. Uh, and it was in a long, it was uh, the long course, of course. And he competed in the Summer Olympics as well. And uh, last December, the Russian National Championships in this uh, short course, uh, he got the gold medal. It was uh, 14 31 7 time. Lane 7, uh, sorry, Lane 6, Sven Schwartz. The Final World Cup Berlin uh, stop uh, this October. He was uh, the bronze medalist after lane five, Martin Ichev and uh, Florian Verbrock. That was a nice uh, memory for him and it was a nice performance as well. Lane. Seven Carlos Garage Benito, as I mentioned, that uh, Puebla Martinez was the record holder in uh, the Spanish Junior Championships and Summer Open. And uh, after Alejandro Puebla, he got the silver medal with the time of uh, 15 15 6 6. And lane, lane eight, Vlad Stefan Stanchu. Uh, he won the Romanian Nationals at the Aqua Challenge uh, this uh, August. And in open wo and the uh, open water time was uh, one hour, four minutes and uh, 32 sec uh, seconds. It was a uh, five kilometer open water. So these are the effects of the swimmers and uh, as we can see we are at halfway and uh, who else but uh, Gregory Patronieri is on the way in the first position but uh, Domenico Acerenza, his compatriot, is still in uh, good form and uh, 
is uh, so close to the reigning champion and uh, lane one david bethlehem the silver medalist in rome junior european junior championships is in the third place patrinieri acerenza and uh, still david bethlehem then uh, Martinichev and uh, Schwarz for the third place that as we can see there's a, an exciting battle between uh, the three youngsters Bethlehem is uh, with uh, 18 years of age uh, and uh, Martinichev and Schwarz are 19 years old so Maybe they are just uh, fighting for the final right now, but in a couple of years, uh, who know? Probably they will be for the European Championship title. Gregorio Patrinieri still on the lead. Uh, the only missing piece uh, of his career is the Olympic medal in Tokyo. He was the fourth after uh, Robert Finke, USA, Michalio Romanchuk and Florian Velbrock. Uh, two Europeans uh, were in the podium, but uh, the Italian Patrinieri the difference between him and the bronze medalist Florian Welbrock, it was uh, a bit more than half second, so it wasn't a lot, uh, but uh, that means that uh, Welbrock uh, grabbed the bronze medal and uh, Patrinieri was out of the podium. It is the only uh, medal which is missing from his collection. Less than a half kilometer is back, and uh, the order is still uh, Patrinieri and Acerenza first two, and Sven Schwartz in the third place right now. In Glasgow two years ago, the last time what was enough for the for the final, it was also swam uh, by Sven Schwarz, the uh, German youngster. It was 14:43 uh, for free. That was uh, the last time. What was uh, good for the final? And uh, the missing, the one very, very big missing name is Mikhailo Romanchuk, the Ukrainian is unfortunately not here but uh, at that time Acerenza was in the final as well grabbing the last place and uh, Sven Schwartz who is now the third one he was the sixth so uh, if the German is saving enough energy for the last 300 meters he can repeat his uh, performance and uh, get into the final last 200 meters patronieri let's see the second it will be acerenza but uh, almost five seconds disadvantage. In the first 
500 meters, it seemed that probably Archer and Sok uh, could close to the reigning champion, sh champion but uh, of course Paltrinieri just withstood the pressure and uh, with a very confident and very uh, determined swim, he is just uh, building his legacy, just like always, and building the lead. He just extends the lead and uh, this must be a very piquant final between him and Wellbrook. And uh, I hope that uh, many of you will watch that event as well. Last 100 meter, that means four laps. Acerenza. And uh, third, who turns is still Schwartz, but uh, Martinicev is quite close. The Russian is uh, coming up to Sven Schwartz. Here comes the bell, that means the last 50 meters. Just two laps to go and uh, there's no doubt that uh, as a reigning champion, Patrinieri sent a sign to the others that yes, I'm still here and I would like to defend my championship title. Patroneer with a time of 14.27.35. Acerenza the second. And uh, Sven Schwartz is just a couple of strokes. And yes, he is in. Touch the wall. And the uh, Russian Martinichev is the fourth. Then David Bethlehem, Hungary. And the others. Vlad Stefan Stanchu, Carlos Garaj Benito, and uh, at this moment, Jon Jötvend. So, this is the official order. Waiting for the official list. So, the results are official. Paltrinieri, Acerenza, Schwarz, Martinchev, Bethlehem. Sancho, Karaj Benito and Jötvend. And uh, after the highlights, we are waiting for the qualifiers. The final will be tomorrow at uh, 7.40. Patrinieri discussing <laughs> the 60 laps with Acerenza and uh, here we have the official list, Paltrinieri, Acer and Schwartz, and let's check the finalists. The best eight swimmers are Paltrinieri, Welbrook, Acer and Sajoli, Jegorov, Schwartz, Kristiansen and Martinichev. And uh, Lukas Mertens, uh, five... Uh, Six, less than six uh, tenths of a second, but he is out of the race. So, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, this was the second morning session here from uh, Kazan, Republic of Tatarstan. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the races, the competitions, uh, and I'm sure that the evening session will be even better because we are coming with the finals and the semifinals. That will be a long program starting in uh, half past six. Six finals and uh, six semifinals in the list. So we are coming at uh, half past six and entertaining you 
till about 9 o'clock local time.